Hello and welcome back. This is Sky Factory 3, episode 12. And today, we have a few things planned. We're going to go to the Beneath, which a lot of people have already done, so it's not really a big deal. And second thing is, I want to get on uh, doing the Tier 3. I have it all planned. I want the Tier 3 Void Ore Miner. Now, one thing to note that uh, we're going to have to do in order to get this tier 3 void ore miner for tier 2 we need 3 tier 1's and for tier 3 we need 2 tier 2's so all in all we need 6 3 times 2 of these which means I need to get diamond ore which is a bit of a problem but if you stick with me we can figure this out. I already have this already it's the uh, enchanter from Ender IO and it is pretty amazing and I need books and quills well I know where to get feathers and I also <laughs> conveniently enough know where to get ink You know, you think by now I would have set up a teleporter to go between these two. There's a, a nice one in Draconic Evolution that I've been looking at. And sometimes when I come over here, the frame rate drops to like 8 or so. I remember putting ink in one of these. There we go. Now back home again, home again. Do, 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 do. I am Superman flying. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to try that out, and I have a, a few set up. So let's first build everything we need um, to make that. And hopefully I'm still recording after clicking off the screen. So, Void Resource Miner, Tier 3. We need 56 structure blocks. So structure blocks tier 3 or higher 56 let's see we need some more cobblestone that should not be a problem let's see here's some cobblestone Doo -doo -doo. Hmm. all right now let's go back to let's just show the craftable items here so 56 tier 3 or higher 56 and start on that you know maybe I should make a crafting monitor all right next we need 52 machine base machine bases which I have somewhere around here perhaps machine base need 52 of these so we have that running we need eight modifier cores and I did not I did not um, put this one in the recipe so we need eight of these one two three four five six seven eight I I'll just put them in my inventory for now. Four laser cores. You know, it'll be amazing if this is still recording because I keep clicking off the screen. Laser core. And there we go. Four of these. And one clear laser lens or colored variant. Let's just type in laser lens. So we need this for that. And then there we go. Clear laser lens. So the rest of what we need, we will obtain a book. So book. Huh. Let's make a couple of books. Book. 
fucking quill. And I believe that the enchanter also needs lapis. So we will throw that in there. And what we're doing is we're getting a silk touch book to put in our quantum quarry. Silk touch book. Uh, slime. And I believe it takes a slime ball, which is kind of weird. Now I need 13 levels. That's not a problem. I'm sure I have more than enough. I've been storing away my 12, 13. I've been storing away my XP. And there we go. We got our silk touch book and we'll plop it in here and this will immediately fill up with stone. Oh, and grass box. That's nifty. <laughs> Inferium ore. Well, I'm going to let this run for a bit until I get the diamond ore that we need, and I'm going to maybe figure out a way of getting rid of this extra stuff, especially stone. Let's just add that to one of these filters. Oops, I deleted the other thing. That's okay. I mean, stone's nice to have there. Now I won't have to melt, smelt as much next time I need some. Prosperity ore, that's what it looks like. You get a ton of prosperity stuff from this. I mean, I am up to 460 bucks. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I will cut here, wait for this to get me the eight diamond ore that I need, and then I'll be right back. Okay. We're back, and that took a, the better part of a Minecraft night. Sorry, I, uh, I've been up and about and doing stuff since the last thingamajig. So now I've lost my <laughs> my train of thought. Alright, void. Or I've been uh, out shoveling snow because it's morning. Oh, what's the other iron ore? Oh, we get lots of that. Unfortunately, it's all being piped into here. Alright, iron ore, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw this in here. So, interesting fact, the Euphrani yeah, no, uranium ore, I don't have any in here, you can not put it through a sag mill, but you can put it through a crusher to get uh, double stuff. I believe they fixed that in 3.0.5, but I'm still on 3.0.4 because it is the quote-unquote stable version that I'm using see iron ore this uh, uh, I guess it really doesn't matter if I have the silk touch book in there or not but I've noticed that doing that I'm likely to get a lot more redstone than I would have I did keep a stack of grass blocks I got a couple Let's throw that in there Alright, six more. Four. Closer. One, two. Oh my. I need to make a bunch of these and a bunch of these, don't I? Alright. I'm, uh, I'm still... It's early. Alright, recipe. One, two course. Block of iron. It's not like I don't have enough iron. It's just I store it in an inaccessible style. Alright. Two, three, four, five. Uh. <laughs> Boom. Seven, eight. Wait, I believe that's. Uh, might as well go a few extra. I need four of them for the thing. Let's see, there we go. Plenty of iron ore. Oh, what's this? Lapis ore. I haven't gotten any of that. And a bunch more of this prosperity stuff, which we get a ton of. 
I'm going to take that Silk Touch book out. Now, you can put other books in there, like, uh, it's not looting, Fortune. You can put Fortune in there, and you'll get more diamonds and redstone. I just haven't done that yet. I don't know. What does a Fortune 3 book take? Let's see if I can spell Fortune. Uh, just two emeralds, which really isn't bad. I pretty sure I have more than two emeralds. Let's see, I have 25 blocks of emerald. Oh, but I might have emeralds in one of these. I believe it's that one, yeah. But I'll do that later. This is not important. Okay, so let's go back to this recipe. Oh, we need a bunch of these. Which means we need a bunch of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that should give us the eight we need so that we can do I can't type today here we go here is the tier 2 so we're going for tier 3 we need two tier 2's I think I made a couple extra oh you're kidding me we need more of that stuff <laughs> And then there we go. Boom. So I need two of those. Uh, yeah, I think I only needed six and not eight. That's okay. And then void tier three. Stabilized Ender Pearl, which is Ender Pearls around a block of iron. We need four of these. One, two, three, four. This is a uh, clear lens controller tier two, tier two, mica. Oh boy. We may have run into a snag. I'm going to research mica and I will be right back back. Okay, I'm back, and I'm just going to set up the tier 2 for now, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's something we can live with. So I'm going to put that in there. Let's see what we need for the tier 2. I think we can still use most of the stuff we have, and I don't want to go through the whole book like that. Uh, tier 2 structure, tier 2 or above, so we don't have to rebuild structure blocks because we have all of the tier 3 ones, machine base, and the same modifier cores, we need 8, well we have 8, we, uh, okay, so let's grab, here are the tiered blocks, here are the, oh, machine bases, tiered blocks, and, let's see, do I have, do have an assembler. Let me hurry and make an angel an angel block. Let's see if I can even find it. There we go. I think I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think well, we'll see real soon, won't we? I think the uh, let's place that there. Place you there. I think that the Void ore miner. Where did my pick go? Oh, I got it back this time. Let's see. I think that the, this block is the top, and it looks like that's right. Um. Here, let me, let me help you there. Am I missing something? 
We got the machine base. It hard machine base, hardened tier three. Yes, yes. With the solar one, it said, "Whoa, that was interesting." Hmm. It said a machine complete. I don't know if that is complete or not. Do, do, do. It looks like all the stuff we needed is taken out of the inventory. Not 100% sure. Let's uh, hurry and make some oh, ener energy conduits. And I have some fused quartz in here for that. Energy importer interface. That's not it. Flux plug, Ender energy conduit. This is the one. Actually, let's do that one. One, two, three. It's probably enough. <laughs> now, I don't know where power goes. I don't know where items go. I'd assume we just slap a chest or something on top of this. Okay. Got power. Anything happening power-wise? A little bit. A little bit of something happened power-wise. Let's grab a chest real quick. We already have a gold chest. Let's make a diamond one real quick. Where are you? Diamond. Come to me. There we go. And I really should probably be using like an ender chest or something. And look at that. We got a mob wearing Sheldon shirt. Let's uh, <laughs> learn from that. Hurry and sleep the night. Well, I just punched my microphone. Sorry about that. Had to go itch my arm. There was a microphone in the way. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, I'm thinking one, two, three. Four. Looks like we have all of those down. You know, I'm gonna do some whatever it's called and I'll be right back. Alright, I think I figured it out. I, uh, when I built it before, that spot where I put a laser core is actually supposed to have a clear lens. And it looks like it's going down into the void. And it looks like I'm already starting to get some stuff. Now, I have no idea the power drain this thing's having. Uh, looks probably, I would guess, because that says 89999600, that's probably 400 RF a tick, which is pretty similar to that. But uh, yeah, I'm really fairly excited about this. I hope I can get some stuff out of this that, uh, you know, that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise. I mean, the mic is one thing. Hopefully I get enough of that that I can upgrade this to tier three because I do have, well, I do have the stuff for it. Though I will probably have to, you know, destroy the multi-block just take out one of these blocks and then build a little platform under here so I can mine this without losing stuff. It would help if I had uh, some kind of magnet thing to catch stuff. Alright, so this episode is actually going to be a bit longer than I was expecting. <laughs> and it, I just wanted to hurry and go to the beneath. It's not really that important. Well, let's go put it over here on Chicken Island. But uh, I've seen a lot of other people do it, and I just wanted to try a few things while I was there. So without any further ado, 
Let's jump on it, click on it, and hurry, and place down a torch. There we go. So, huh, this is the closest, oh look at that, I even started in the middle of the air, perfect. Well, this is the closest thing to real land I've seen. And there's a mob. So, um, coming here is one of the alternatives for getting the diamond ore for the void resource miner. And uh, that's because it spawns naturally here, I would assume. Now, this is something I've wanted to try. <laughs> See, it's going to kill the durability on my pick, but what it really killed was my uh, food. I think these things are just zombies. I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's try that again. That's quite a lot of stuff. Now, it's part of the reason why I've been using an obsidian pick. I mean, it's slow as I'll get out, but it has some great durability on it. And fairly easy to make. Let's see, we got yellow right, <laughs> and got to eat again. Should have brought some of them crumbs with me. Okay. Uh, emerald, yellow right, diamond. So, I mean, with the silk touch, and there seems to be a lot of ore here. I wonder if there's, I don't think there's an ender quarry or the other kinds of quarry. Let's go back real quick. Oh, that was actually really fast, and unfortunately, it makes me want to uh, fall to my death. It's a good thing I can fly. Huh, we'll have to figure that out. Maybe we should place this up in the air? I don't know. There we go, we're back to full. This hasn't been chunk loaded. So, uh, but we can see what we got. Coal, yellow white, lapis more draconium which is good so the easiest way to chunk load stuff is just to come in here and now you can claim chunks by right clicking to delete chunks by left but uh, the easiest way is to shift after you've no I meant that the other way around claim left click delete your claim with right click but the easiest way to chunk load is to shift left click so just a shift to normal click and it will chunk load and you can see down here you can automatically chunk load up to 50 chunks and uh, I have this same setup over on my other base I haven't keeping things chunk loaded now you'll notice that uh, just a last last thing real quickly sorry about this episode that uh, I did expand this I did change the redstone a little bit to be the a little bit more space efficient. I doubt you even need... let's try that. Here, come here. I have too much cobblestone in my inventory. I keep trying to pick up stuff. No, don't want you to have cobblestone. Where do you go? I have noticed that the ones on the end here tend to pick up a little bit more of the saplings. Each of these I started with 15 16 saplings and uh, they all seem to be fairly self-sufficient yeah so you don't even need the repeater there I just liked having it that's what I was testing anyway guys thanks for watching uh, and as always have a great day now I have to find that again peace